We're in Visio 2019 Professional, and we're going to create a timeline. If you don't see the timeline under the list of templates, it's probably because you haven't clicked it before. In my case, I have. So you can go to Categories to find it very easily and click on Schedule, and then click on Timeline. Now you're presented with three different pre-filled in timelines. All you have to do is uh, type in the uh, description that you want to put in for each one. And they're a big time saver. But just for learning purposes, I'm going to click the blank one and click Create. So you can kind of see what this looks like from the beginning. So we have several different timelines. And timeline is the first thing you want to drag in. So if it says timeline and you see three of them here, you want to pick one of those and drag it in. So I'm going to start with the block timeline. And I'll click that, and there's my timeline. And look at that. I get a new box that automatically uh, starts out that says, hey, what's your time period and what's your time format? So I can choose the default that's here, or I can customize it. So for instance, I can click the drop down and pick a different day to end my timeline on. I can also change my start and finish times as well. And then the scale is really important because uh, I'm gonna choose the wrong scale to start with. I'm gonna choose hours, for instance, and click OK. And nothing really shows up, so it's not very helpful to you. So if I right click on the timeline and click configure timeline again, let's change it to days. Click OK. And once again, not very useful. So what I want to do is pick the right type of scale. And in this case, I'm going to choose months. And look at that. So uh, the months show up. So if you choose something where there's just so much information, it just won't show up on the timeline. You need to change your scale. All right. So the other problem that we see here is this is really hard to see. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit by holding down the control key and then using the mouse to zoom in. It makes it a little bit easier, but still, it's kind of difficult to see. So what you can do is you can go to design at the top and change the color scheme. So look at all these different color schemes that you see here. Pick something with good high contrast. I'm going to pick this green. There it is, dark green, and the uh, pins that I put in are going to be uh, red. So the pin milestone, for instance. So if I drag the pin milestone over, I drop it into place, and then I get a new pop-up, and it says, hey, what's your start date? Milestone time. And I'm going to say, well, not 12 o'clock in the morning. Let's try something more like 10 o'clock in the morning. And then you want to put in your description, because right now it just says milestone description. So let's say that this is a class that we're teaching, and we want to say the first assignment is due. Click OK. And look at that. So now if you paste this into, say, your syllabus or something like that, you can see this is when the first assignment is due, and it automatically puts in a date. We can choose some other timelines as well. They just look a little bit different, but they work the same way. And some of them look pretty much a lot block interval. This block interval is interesting because it actually gives you a block of time. And you can say something like start final project. There we go. So that gives you a block of time to start your final project. Uh, the X milestone is a really good one. You can say uh, all projects do, something like that. All projects do. There we go. So that lets everybody know, hey, this is the drop dead date for that. Uh, we see some other timelines as well. There's a square. Uh, there's a triangle. You know, Just pick whatever one works best for you. Now, you don't have to just put these milestones at the top of the line. If you want, you can put them at the bottom of the line as well. Just make sure they don't cover up any dates. And then what you do is you drag the dot at the top down to the bottom, and now you see it's at the bottom. And once again, you can change the description as well just by double-clicking on it. So I can let me do this to one of the other ones as well. I'll just drag this little dot down to the bottom. And look at that. I changed my milestone from the top of the line to the bottom of the line. And the reason you want to do this is because if you have so many milestones that they just don't all fit at the top line, then the bottom one is good. I can also go in and stretch this downward, too, and bring it down further, just in case it's, it's too close to another milestone. One of the other things I like to put in is today's marker. So if I click on today's marker, I'll just put it anywhere and watch what happens. Boom. It jumps over to today. I'm going to delete this one just so you can see it. 
it jumps to this one is today. So the next time you open this up, it's going to jump to whatever today is, whatever the next day is. Um, so that way you always know where you are in the timeline. Super helpful uh, for students to, to have that kind of thing. But of course, that only works if they're opening this up in Visio. <laughs> All right, so when we have everything the way we want it, we can go in and put a background in. There we go. And if we want, we can put in a border. And you can edit the title if you want as well. And then you can save it. So when you go to save it, um, if you're saving it so you can paste it into, uh, say, um, a document, something like that, you'll want to save it as some sort of a picture document. So you do File, Save As, and then you say click Browse. And then you hit the drop down. And instead of choosing the default Visio drawing, uh, which you can certainly do if you're going to go back and edit it later, then you would just change it to, say, a JPG or a GIF, something like that format. And you save it as a picture. And when you do that, you can choose uh, some information there if you want. Now I can open it up as a picture, and I can copy and paste this picture into any other type of document, whether it's HTML or a Word document or anything else. Now at this point it's read-only, uh, but you can go back into your original Visio document and make changes to it if you want, and then you can go back and save it as a picture again. So that's how you create a timeline in Visio 2019.